we're starting the vlog off today on a Tuesday. And um, that's because this weekend was a weekend. One of them ones. And y'all know, I don't even, I haven't even been going out. This is my first time going out in like a month. My first time drinking alcohol in a month. I didn't even, I didn't even get drunk like that or anything, but I was just like exhausted. Now I'm drinking a recess. I heard this helps like just calm you down. And I, I, I'm an over, I'm not an overthinker. I can't stop speaking that over myself. I feel moments of anxiety and overthinking sometimes. So this is kind of calming me down. Like you can see my eyes are just not, are just feeling vibey. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> y'all, I even need to fill y'all in on just everything that's been going on with the business, socials, everything. So let's hold this thought and I'm gonna fill y'all in in a little bit, okay? Yeah, I forgot what I was even gonna just you guys about, but I think it has to do with um, this past few days of the week. But I'll tell y'all. So last, the end of the last vlog, I had went to the Amari concert. I was invited by this account called Black Girl Studios and Interscope. It was cool. It was cool. It was a nice little concert. And yeah, I had a good time. Like it was nice. It was nice. Y'all, I'm clearly talking better with my Invisalign and don't play with me. Don't even make fun of me because what? The only issue is the freaking brushing. I literally brushed my teeth four times today. Is it four times? Five. Five times today. God almighty. But anyways, y'all. So I wore this outfit that I made last year to the concert and I really think it's so cute. Look, let me show you guys a picture. I haven't even posted this on my Instagram yet. This top. I'll put some, like, pictures up. I wore that, and then I also made a video about it on TikTok. Pretty much just, like, asking the girls how they feel about it. I'll play it for y'all right now. Okay, y'all. So, I'm a fashion designer, right? And I made this top last summer, and I was just so nervous to put it out. I was like, I don't know if anyone's actually going to like it, blah, 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 blah. Like, I just, I was just overthinking it, you know? But now I'm looking at it like almost a year later. I'm like, this is still eating. Like, look at the back. Obviously, it's a sample. So it looks kind of wonky. But if it was refined, it would just look perfect, you know? So I'm like, should should she still? I feel like y'all could wear this on vacation, the beach, wherever. Like, what are we thinking? Like, I don't know. So I got a lot of feedback. The girls are feeling it. So I'm like, okay, okay. And then I put it on Twitter too. And yeah, Instagram too. And like... Everybody just really liked it, and I was like, stop. I have not had a reaction like this in a long, long time. So y'all know what I had to do. Mind you, I had bought the fabric, like, a little bit of it last year. And I, it was, it's just been sitting in my, it's been sitting in my, um, what do you call it? Fabric drawer. And, um, nothing's been happening to it. But this color is just banging. I feel like I remember seeing it in, like, blue-green or something. I don't remember, but, like... The girls are saying they, they want other colors too. And um I just feel like alright, I'm like what is <laughs> creepy. Um yeah, I just feel like I gotta mix in the shake, like a limited drop. I think I wanna do a dress version, top, and like a flowy skirt. Something like to give the girls vacay. And I need to do it quick because I want y'all to wear it on y'all's vacations. But this is gonna be the limited drop. Like limited release before I have my next collection. And I'm not gonna lie, uh Yeah, I don't even want to think that far ahead. But I need to figure out who is gonna help me make this and where am I gonna find this fabric? Cause this remember when I got it from the fabric store? I got it from a fabric store in Houston. Remember when I got it? Maybe the roll was like empty. And this fabric store, they be so bougie. Like, can you tell me who the supplier is so I could buy it directly from them and not you guys? Because y'all tax. I, I don't remember the price of this fabric, but I know. It wasn't cheap. Fabrics in Houston is not cheap because they know there's like five fabric stores. Not even up to five fabric. Maybe there's like three good fabric stores in all of Houston. And that's me being nice. So they know how to tax for this. This is probably like $35 a yard. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous for something that's see-through. Obviously the outfit is not going to be see-through. But the fabric itself... But yeah, it's so pretty. Oh my god, it's just so summery. I'm excited. So, 
yeah that's one thing that i'm working on right now i think i need to start doing like project plans like how they taught me in corporate america project plans are pretty much like tasks like for each project this tax like tasks in english english tasks that you want to have done by a certain date and there's a project plan and you have to follow the project plan so i think i'm going to tell my team that's what we need to be doing so so we can have like consistent check-ins on how things are going and um actually stick to it because it's one thing to say oh i'm gonna work on this and then it's another thing to actually be actively working on it each and every single day so that's what we're going to be doing going forward let me even write it down for the team meeting that's going to be happening in two days y'all running a team is not easy Fuck. like yes the team helps like yes you need a team and everything but like actually managing the team actually being a manager that's a whole different role that nobody has prepared me for but i'm, I'm doing it though i am freaking doing it that's that um so that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. I've been message. speaking of messaging suppliers, the people have not responded to me. Oh, I haven't responded to them. <laughs> Actually, I need to respond to some people. Um, yeah, so that's that. I need to, resp I need to reach out to more suppliers. Because one thing about business, one thing about business, never put your eggs in one basket. Else you're going to look like idiots at the end of the day. At the end of the day, you gonna look like an idiot when it's time for you to have your project done or whatever, and you only rely on one little supplier. Baby, no. I know like people will like have different, will have like three different manufacturers, and send them the same item to make, and they'll pick the best one. But you don't be the idiot that only uses one manufacturer, or one seamstress, or one sample make. Ah. Uh, Yes, it's costly, but at the end of the day, you're saving yourself headache because you never know who can make it the best. Just saying. This is me talking to myself, too. What else? What else? What else? What else? Y'all, please, somebody needs to, like, I have so much to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've been slacking. I've been slacking on my, my, my short form content. But I think I, the reason I slack on it is because I get in my head sometimes. And that's what I need to learn how to stop doing. Like, stop being in my head and just create and make mistakes and share my mistakes. That's another thing. I don't like to share my mistakes. I don't like to post anything if it's not perfect in my eyes. So, but that's one thing. It's never going to be, like, something that's perfect in my eyes is not going to be perfect in some of the, the internet's eyes. Do you know what I mean? And, y'all, I'm also working on staying off the freaking internet. I feel like I tell y'all this like every other vlog. But that shit is so addicting. They put crack in that. I seen that they made a rule like in Florida or something that they're banning they're banning social media for fourteen year olds. And people on Twitter were like, Why are they focused on banning social media for fourteen year olds? Blah 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 blah. You know, certain situations like that, I just keep quiet. Because let them ban it. I agree. They should ban it for fourteen year olds. What are the fourteen year olds doing on social media anyway? Do you know what I mean? It's not good for them. But people on Twitter are like, Oh, they should be focused on the taxes. Yes, yes, yes. But like they can clip this one too, you know what I mean? They could they could hand they could wrap that one up. Yeah, I don't think the kids should be on there. I really don't think kids should be on social media. Point blank period. Anyways, but let me not talk too much. Because the way cancel culture works nowadays. Eee. Gotta save that one for a FaceTime call with friends. <laughs> Um, anyways, 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 that's pretty much the update, girls and boys. I don't know. Y'all, I had a time this past weekend. I was looking back at videos of myself, and I'm like, God dang, you look good. And I'm not gonna lie, I really like my hairstyle. They ain't never had a pretty girl from Lagers. Pretty girl. Do you got but yeah, right now I'm about to continue reaching out to some more suppliers and see what we can do.
I just got done and some people are already messaging me. This is what I like. This is why I like working with people outside of America because the thing about Americans is just anything they do, normal getting your hair done, they're not like, they're not proactive, they don't care about the money. Any other country that's in the East, people are fast, fast business. They know, they know business because money is a serious thing. They're already, they're already responding to me. If this was an American uh, manufacturing company, um, please book a consultation. Um, please wait three to five business working days. Eee! You guys don't like money. Period. So yeah, I'm about to work on the, I guess, tech pack. I don't really know how to do tech, tech pack. Mm. And then it just, I'm just gonna make a detailed PDF of the sample I need made. I'll show y'all, I'll show y'all. And then I'm gonna send it to them. So, and see if they can actually do what I wanna do. Okay, y'all, I'm done with my little tech pack or whatever for the tank tops. I basically just told them like the kind of fabric I wanted, how I want the straps. Oops, what the heck? I can tell with the back of this? That's crazy. Just found that out. Okay, now I want it to fit like long, full torso tank top. And I want the letters to be puff printed letters for this such a, such a. And then hashtag, the hashtag naughty girl was gonna be like this embroidered, like beaded, not embroidered, but like beaded sequin. Like I want it to be good quality, you get. Cause I could easily just made it, I could easily just made this at home and sold it to y'all. Oh my God, I need to stop doing this. But I want it to be good quality. So yeah, I'm about to send this to them. Save it and airdrop it to myself as a file, a PDF, and send it to everyone. fabric shopping y'all i came in the store i knew exactly what i wanted and as soon as i got there my eyes seen it y'all this fabric is just so pretty the print i was even shocked so i tried to find some things that were similar to it because i know y'all want other colors and i found this leopard cheetah well, i don't know what animal that is but it has some snake skin in there i was like okay this is cute this could go but i wanted some brighter colors and i found this blue green vibe i just i don't know like i wasn't feeling it let me know what y'all think because like Cause each fabric I'm showing, I actually want you guys to tell me like what you think about it. And this one, it just wasn't calling me. I just, it just wasn't abstract enough. Then I found this one it was like white undertones or red, blah, 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 blah. And I just, I don't know. Like I was really in the middle about it. I'm like, I was thinking like whenever I see a fabric, I'm like, okay, am I going to pick this shirt up and wear it on a night out? Like, am I going to want to wear this? And mm, it just wasn't giving. So I found this blue and green one. Y'all, I was in love instantly i had the white and it was just perfect i didn't even get a good video in it but if y'all want a better video i'll show you guys and this is him cutting up my fabric i was so so happy why was i there till it closed they literally turned the lights off y'all this fabric store is also shutting down i'm like oh perfect i'll be back to shop okay yo i have not picked up the camera this whole week like i just been really bad with it but i'm doing my hair right now i'm like halfway done clearly and i'm on the phone chit chatting with lynn lindsay hi yeah yeah oh look at her new car she got a new car she got the g wag yes yes we're right manifesting now, the rental will do. we manifest around here the rental will do uh you know it's funny because when i was on stream i was like oh my god tell chat what happened 
And all the, they were funny as hell. They were like, what? What happened to you? And Aww. the fact that you're just all happy like this, I'm like, yeah, I'm blessed to be alive. Aww. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh my God. What? Y'all then got into a crazy car accident while we were on the phone. And y'all know we be on Facebook. Crazy car accident. <laughs> crazy car accident. Like, oh my, yeah. The fact that Danny was on the phone like, when the accident happened and she did not know. Bro, I didn't, I didn't know. Like, I'm mid-conversation with her, right? <laughs> Like, I'm still talking, and the car is spinning, bro. And then Liz starts screaming, I'm like, what? What's going on? Literally, my car was spinning. All I hear is you yapping, and I'm like, oh, my God, my car is spinning. And that's when I know when I hit the wall, and then I think that's when you paused. Yeah, I was like, wait, something's not right. <laughs> no, that was, oh. that was I was just scared, because I really just didn't want you to witness nothing. I was like, oh, my God. No, you're not finna die on FaceTime, God forbid. Bro, but no, God is so good. God is, like, God is really protecting me. Like, um, we were at the nail salon because, you know, my nail tech. Shout out to my nail tech. The fact that my nail tech picked me up is yeah. just crazy. Like, wow. That's community. They get, I need to start promoting them. Yeah, well, you don't want people <laughs> increasing their prices. Oh, people to know what nail tech I go to because then it's going to get busy then it's going to suck because they have great prices. exactly you know these were only $65 yeah that's really good that's the only issue like that's why I like gatekeeping a little bit because like y'all as soon as I tell y'all who I go to everybody's going to go there that's what happened with my nail tech whenever I had one in college everyone st started going there and the way people treat you is a reflection of what how you treat people like Look at how people are so quick to drop everything they're doing to just come get you. Even Vanessa. Vanessa was literally in the middle of dropping somebody up. And she was supposed to go pick up her son. Mm. And instead of picking up her son, she calls her baby daddy like, oh, my friend got in an accident. I can't. Her baby dad called off work. Yeah, I was like, I don't know who to call in L.A. I was like, I wish I knew, like, that her, your friend Vanessa's information. No, no, but I called her. And mind you, she works for, like, LAPD. I didn't think about that at first, so Who? I don't know why I didn't call her and I called 911 instead when I could have called her and I could have had, because my name is on the list for her family, so they're supposed to be able to help her faster. She works for LAPD. But you know when you're just in the moment, she's the dis dispatcher, dispatcher, dispatcher? 911 dispatcher? Yes, yeah, bro, like, huh? Oh, so she picks up the phone? I'm like done straightening my yeah. hair. Bro, I was breaking out this week for no freaking reason. What do you mean? I was getting random. Are you drinking enough water? I think that's what it is. It's not like I've been drinking alcohol or anything. So. Yeah, alcohol has been disgusting me. I just cannot. <laughs> yeah. You guys, my brother went to Nigeria and I told him to bring me kimono boo boo. And he didn't bring me kimono boo boo. He brought me Ribena. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their boobs. <laughs> I don't have any boo boo. And like I said, <laughs> and Chin Chin, but there's no kimono boo boo. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'll manage. I'll manage. So, you guys, let's do a taste test of all these snacks. <laughs> these snacks, snacks, snacks. Just quick snacks. <laughs> you guys, they own everything besides boo boo, I'm telling you. So, let's try this little bit boost. Because apparently, it gives energy and, uh, Maybe I need that energy. This, I thought this was for kids. Energy fast. I thought it was for kids. That's crazy. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, you have, have more than enough snacks mm. for you to have fun. There's Chin Chin. Mmm. That's peanuts. Wow. We have Tom Tom. I really like Tom Tom. And we have plantain chips. Plantain chips. No, you guys haven't opened this one before? No, we have not opened it. Oh, it's too hard to open. Let's open the kimchi. It's already been open. Kimchi. Kimchi. For the people, for the Americans, this is like um spicy beef jerky. Alright. Oh my god, my teeth hurt. 
Oh, okay, this one. It's hurting my teeth. Oh, it's good. And my teeth hurt. Plantain chips. All right. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He said he got this from Ebano. Ebano. Too good. Too, too good. I remember I used to eat these peanut snacks, but I don't remember if I actually like it. Oh no. It's not bad. It's not bad. Ah, this is even made in Ghana. <laughs> It's not bad, but like I have to be very, very, very super hungry to eat it. And I've never seen chinchin package package like this. So cute and tiny. It's not very tasty. It's not very tasty. You know when the chinchin crunches in your mouth, it should crunch like crumbling. It's not crumbling the way it should be crumbling, the way other chinchins have crumbled before in my mouth. Six out of ten. This one, three. This one is really good. I just can't chew it. Eight. I love plantains. I can die for plantain chips. Nine out of ten. Um, this looks like hey! eleven, twelve. I need the manufacturer of this to see me, cause I have some questions for him or her. This, like I said, I, I want to drink it right now, but it's not um, it's not cold. So like, I feel like my rating would be really bad, cause it's not cold. Okay, let's do this ribena. They have ribena here, do they? No, they don't have it like this. They don't have it like what is this? Who ate my straw? Nigeria. Ah. <laughs> oh, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Let's to blame everything on Nigeria. So, so get out. Too good. Too, too good. 10 out of 10. Thank you guys for coming to my Nigerian snack taste testing. I already I've tried all this before, but you know, it's been a long time. I don't even snack anymore, y'all. This is like crazy to me because I have my Invisalign in. So when you have Invisalign, who wants to brush their teeth after each snack? But I'm doing this for you guys. I'm about to... I don't like this angle. Like, this is really aggravating me. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's do a recap. So whenever I went to the fabric store the other day, I bought the fabric that... Like, I bought the whole roll. And I was just so exhausted when I got home. The fabric is still in my car, but it's because I don't really need it because I still have some extra um, right now, right here. And the fabric that's in the car, I'm probably just going to take it straight to the seamstress that I'm going to find. And that's another thing that I was planning on doing on Saturday. I wanted to um, like find new people to work with, new seamstresses, and I was going to show you guys how I did that, which is pretty much just cold calling. So I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. Which is gonna be in the next vlog. So y'all gotta stay tuned for the next vlog to see how I did like how I'm gonna do my cold calling and find new people to make a new seamstress, tailors and all that to work with. Cause I already have one, but he's really unreliable and I'm scared to go work with him again. Cause last time I worked with him it's really bothering me. But I hope the money is gingering him this time. You know the economy is hard, so maybe he'll sit up this time and actually work because I'm it's not free, I'm paying you. So that's one guy. But if not, I'm just gonna do my cold calling and find other people because there's definitely people that can actually make what I need in Houston for a reasonable price that will not tax me. So I'm excited. I'm actually, I'm not really excited because uh, cold calling, whatever, that's one thing. I can do the cold calling, but actually driving around the city of Houston to go to these people, like Houston is so big and I gotta drive after five, rush hour to so 5, 6 p.m. Hey. Pray for me. That's the only annoying part, but I'll get it done. But today, um, right now, I'm gonna finish up working on this. Like, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finish the dress, at least one dress today. I'm gonna finish the dress for this print, and hopefully to God I can finish this top today too. But I, I already have the sample made for the top that I wanna give to the seamstress that I'm gonna work with in Houston. But I also wanna make one more dress. And let me, guys, let me show you the dress that I made. Well, I drew. But like the dress is um the top okay this is a really bad sketch I was just bored this is like a night you've already seen how it looks right it's the the cow neck the cow neck top but I want it to have that same cow neck effect but a dress version and um 
like tying the back and everything like so it's so it's flattering to your body so i'm gonna attempt to make it and give it to him tomorrow just so like he's not creating from scratch obviously he can make it but i want this process to be sped up which is why i'm gonna make my own sample myself because i don't have time to play with y'all so y'all i have a pimple on my freaking forehead God, it's painting me and i need i need a pimple patch good molecules was supposed to send me a pimple patch but they haven't so i have to go and buy my own so right now i'm gonna finish up this dress the gingham print and then after that i'm gonna work on creating the sample of the dress i just drew and from there oh i think i should record because i because i might do a recreation station should i do a recreation station i think i'm doing a rec rec recreation station because why not i might have two series going because freak it you know what i mean life is life is life is boring things people like different things see you know i'm pretty sure y'all would like to see another series that's just not recreation station on my page so yeah okay my friend called me so i'm gonna call her back while we do some work she ain't trying to pick up the phone she ain't trying to pick up the phone she's not picking up she's not picking up she's not picking up nah, 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 nah. all right that's enough oh, let me call let me call let me come out with a friend. Because if one doesn't answer, another one will leave. Annie, you better answer. He declined the call. I'm blocking all of these people. Who wants to be a new friend of mine? DM me because I'm accepting applications. I'm, I'm, mind you, I'm, only just, I'm only calling these people back. Oh, I was minding my business and they called me. I'm only calling them back. You see how, you see how they're treating me? Oh, all right he has an excuse let's get to work okay y'all my friend picked up should we say hi hey what <laughs> <laughs> they're a little shy yeah they're always a little bit shy but my friends are cool <laughs> <laughs> i'm almost done with this dress well not really i'm like 60 percent of the way done wait are you in your are you in your apartment garage or just a random garage my apartment garage uh. wait it are you are you vlogging for real? Should I not talk? No, you can talk. Oh, okay. That's the point. Of chit we we chit chatting. We were okay, just, we were cool. just having a good conversation. I should have recorded that. What conversation? About college. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. college was a time, bro. Now I'm a grown woman, but you know it's crazy to think that people are still in college. Like that's crazy to me. I mean. Nah, I saw I saw I saw a story of someone who I went to uh like. They came in the same year as me, and they're still there. That, that's like oh no. eight years. That's eight years being in College Station. Oh no, that's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely wild. Wait, what are they doing there? I don't know. Maybe you know some people they actually pay per semester. So like, I try not to like, you know, judge too much. Wait, what do you mean pay per? Like you know, some people pay by semester. Isn't that what we all do? I mean, I didn't pay for school, but... No, but, like, they work and they pay by semester. So, like, imagine imagine if, if, if times get hard and they don't want to take out... They'll take a semester off work and then, like, then... Do oh. Semester. Okay, I get what you're saying. But yeah, you never know, but still pretty crazy. Eight years in College Station is wild, absolutely. So you guys just do worship and then testimonies. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, uh, it's a uh, worship. It's, it's like it's called worship experience. Um, so majority of the time is spent like just doing praise and worship. Um, and we have like a thirty minute section session where people can you know share their testimonies. It's like real intimate. How's the uh, the small group stuff going? Didn't you say that one of your friends, like, um, you went with one of your friends to one of the small groups? Yeah, no, I, I'm not even go to the I went with myself. But, um, yeah, the life group. I haven't been joining. I've just been so busy because it's on Friday nights. Like, it's on Zoom, but it's on uh, Friday nights. I'm just like, dang, that's just not the most ideal day. I don't know. Like, I feel like the we didn't realize, at least I didn't realize that there was more to the world. I mean, obviously, I knew that. 
But I didn't realize that until I started doing social media. There was more to the world than college. Like, yeah. it seemed like this was it, if that makes sense. I mean, the thing is, though, like, when you're in a certain season of your life, that's, that's, all, you, that's all you really know. Yeah. Because, like, if you think about it, we couldn't ever leave College Station for too long because, you know, we had in-person classes. We had, like, uh, what do they call them? SI sessions. What do they used to call them? Oh, my God. Like, is that what they call SI? Yes. Yeah, like, you, you had SI sessions. You had, you maybe had, like, A plus or 4.0 in gold. Oh, like, my God. I used you, to be... couldn't, you couldn't leave College Station for too long. So, like, college was all you knew, like couldn't always travel for the weekend you might have an exam on a monday or like web assigned due at midnight on friday like no but i think it's, it's also the, the people we're around too though because like now i'll meet people that are like artists or stuff like that and i'll be like oh when did you start and they'll be like yeah, yeah when i was like 17 and 18 and then i'm just like that's crazy like that was never even an option like that wasn't even mm-hmm. in my mind but like they were around that do you know what i mean and like yeah, like, I think yeah. it's also like Texas too, like Texas doesn't have creatives and stuff like that, so I didn't even think it was possible. That's facts, yeah. So that is facts. That's crazy. You were I'm I'm not gonna lie, part of the part of the reason I feel why you blew up like the way you did was because like nobody was really doing what you were doing. Yeah. Like, people, people, people didn't even have time to, like, be doing anything else besides college. And if they, if they did have time, they were wasting it. Exactly. Nonsense. So, like, nobody had time to actually be, like, designing or, like, you but know, I was working gonna find on that a time. different craft Wait, at the same time. That's... So, it's pretty crazy that you still graduated with, like, really good grades and, like... Yeah, with honors. ...able to lock in on, on fashion. But that's kind of how it is right now, though, even with, like, with working. it's Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's extremely easy for me to just end my day and watch Netflix and eat popcorn and repeat. That's true. It's all a choice, you know what I mean? Like. That's true. Because trust me, it's so much easier to just... Like, you could be, you could be binge-watching right now. Having a chill, relaxing hey, Sunday. Uh, what, what, what's, the, what's that? What's that? Uh, what's that show called? That everybody's like obsessed over the uh, married, married at first sight. Oh, I'm not even. I don't or even love, know. Or love is blind. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing. I want to stop watching TV. Mm-hmm. But I want to watch like. But I like watching YouTube. I will say. Yeah. But actually, actually, no, no, no I'm lying. I want to watch TV because I want to watch like old TV shows for inspo. Like how Sex in the City just came back on Netflix. Yeah. I never watched that show. But you said what came back on Netflix? Sex in the City. Ah, I saw that earlier. It was like suggesting it to me. Yeah, but like I never watched it. But there's so many like good fashion inspos that like are in the show. Yeah. So it only Sex in the City was shot in New York? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, kind of like a uh, gossip girl. Yeah, basically. Okay, y'all, this is his dress. And um, I didn't really like it when I finished it. But, because I feel like it's too long. But I think what I'm going to do is, like, gather it. So I'm going to, like, pinch it, pinch it. Gather it right there. Like, from the waist. Or from the, I guess, no, from the hips. I'm gonna gather it so it can be a little bit shorter and cuter. Or should it be like one? Should it be asymmetric? I don't think so. I think I like both, just short in general. But yeah, and it's also just not fitting my body right. For example, it should be tight like this around my waist. But you know, tight. I just don't know how to exactly do it right. Like, look at this. I think I need to keep taking fabric out of the sides and the sides only. But it's not easy because I don't want to do too much. Hey, y'all, I work some magic and the dress is actually cute now. It's actually cute. Like, 
quit playing. You see my underwear, but stop looking. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't know if I still want to. Should I still gather it? It's so cute and girly. I think the gathering would be cute. Not too short now. Not too short now. Yeah, a little bit of gathering would be cute. So I'm going to do that. And that's going to be it for the dress. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. Like, y'all actually watch my vlogs and make people actually comment and give me feedback. Like, this is crazy. This is the most consistent I've ever. <sighs> okay, y'all, it's a little bit tight up here. But this is the most considerate I've considered consistent I've ever been on YouTube and I'm just so happy like there's actually people watching <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe like comment please 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 okay bye